Hey, how y'all doing? Crooky Joe here. Another episode of Farming Simulator 15 on the Bjornholm map. Um, I haven't been playing a lot, and I haven't recorded much at all, and I apologize. I've just been busy with work and family affairs, so um, I thought I'd get one up today um, since it's Sunday afternoon and I have a little bit of time. Um, won't be a long one. I don't have a lot of time. So um, basically what's happened since the last episode, episode two, this will be episode three, I believe. Um, I did switch over to hard mode. And I did buy all four of these fields near the farm, 24, 29, I already had. I bought 25 and 30, um, as well as we own 38. But I bought um, the other two fields in this four field group and plowed them all together into one bigger field. Um, I have upgraded one tractor um, and I bought a bigger tipper and I bought the lumber trailer the log loading trailer um, I have been doing a little bit of the um, forestry and have sold on a couple of great demands I did find all the gold coins and got all my fi silos filled up so I have sold on a couple of great demands too as well so right now I'm um, this field the four field combination here I've got uh, canola I'm harvesting and uh, I've got my, uh, one of my dudes tractors cultivating. And on field 38 over that way, I have um, barley at the moment because I had a great demand for barley and I am down to zero in stock. So yeah, zero barley. <clears throat> I'm building up the canola stocks again since that was one of the great demands. Um, I have sold a little bit of wheat and corn, but the other potato, sugar, beet, and wood chips are all still at 200,000 liters <clears throat> from the uh, finding the gold coins and throwing them into the wishing well. So that's where we're at. Um, we're currently at just under $25,000. So it looks like that combine's got his auger out. So let's jump. This is the newer tractor I bought to replace one of the Deutz Fars. This is the same Fortis 190, 190 horsepower. Um, I've got him because I want to um, eventually get into a bigger cultivator and bigger um, seeder. So let me drop his speed down because his top speed is 32. And let's head over to the combine. Oh, and up ahead you can see two bee houses. I have uh, made enough money to buy a couple bee houses just for an hourly income. I think I'd make we make $30 an hour off of those two. So I have done that, and I bought the um, front mower, you know, there's a front mower and a rear mower set. I bought the front mower and I use it as a rear mower, and I've got a wind rower and a uh, forge wagon over near, let's see, where is that field? I'm mowing the grass around field 28 and 36 on the map there. And then if you look just to the west of field 36, past the grass area, there's a building there where's a storage area. I have the, the grass harvesting equipment there. Oh, now the combine's done. Oh, look. It seems like every time I log back in, this trailer, for some reason, wants to fly somewhere. So I don't know why that is. It, every time I log in, my log loading trailer is somewhere else. Oh, crap. There's a tree. put that in. Alright, get him going again. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have done that's new. I do have a fertilizer spreader now. Remember if I had one in the second episode or not. Actually, I want to run. Actually, yeah. Keep him going this direction so the cultivator doesn't catch up. And just keep him running this direction. Finish off the rest of that. 
what other plans? I still need to get a front loader. Um, I don't have a baler yet or a tether. I'm thinking about um, buying one more field for grass, for hay, and I'm thinking maybe field 23 right to the west of the farm there. That might be a good one to, to use for baling hay. And then eventually down near the biogas plant at the center of the screen at the bottom, I think field 41 would be a good one to get to plant corn to uh, make silage. Another field that might be good to get is number 40 right next to the cow farm for bales. We'll see how that goes over time. Since I am playing on hard, uh, it does take a while to get the money saved up to buy these new fields. And I made pretty good progress over the last couple weeks. And you know, I play a little bit after work here and there, so in little bits and pieces I'm getting ahead. actually show you right here is where I have the tractor with the mower and wind rower and forge wagon and I've been basically I've been mowing this grass up in this area there's a nice uh, there's a little pasture I guess you would call it right up here within this fence that's um, full of grass and I've been using that I've been mowing that field and also this large grass area right here and then what I have been doing is selling the grass at this um, grass sale pile. I thought that was a decent plan to make a little bit of extra money. You don't make a lot of money on hard mode but uh, it does help offset the hired worker costs and the lumber also helps a bunch. Yeah, so that guy is going to have to be reset because that's just not going to work. Let me go ahead and reset that guy real quick. Let's see, that one, yes. And yes. And yes. So what I think I'm going to have to do is every time I exit the game, I'm going to have to unhook this trailer. <clears throat> because it just does not want to stay put where I left it. I don't know why. Okay. So now, continue harvesting canola on the field whatever this is going to be called, 24, 25, 29, 30, <laughs> the big field. And I think another plan too is now that I, am, I have five cows and I am building up um, quite a bit of um, solid manure right now, so I think I do want to get a greenhouse. I think they cost $25,000 a piece, and on hard mode, I think they pay out per hour $40, whereas the bee houses pay out $15, so there's two of them, so that's $30 an hour, and if I get a greenhouse, that'll be $70 an hour. And I've never really done greenhouses too much. Um, in Farming Simulator 2013, I never really did. I had a problem for a while there where I couldn't place placeables. I don't know what that was a mod or something was causing problems maybe. So I do plan on doing greenhouses down by the cow cow farm. Watch the creepy guy here for a minute. I'm thinking too about these trees behind the combine here. I'm thinking about taking all those out and then plowing in that grass area to the fields. Get a little extra. So I might do that at some point.
this way. So not much going on, just um, doing a lot of the farming part of this game. Um, I'll try to do some of the uh, tree cutting, forestry stuff in an episode at some point. Uh, a lot of people are doing it right now on YouTube, so... So basically what we got going on is harvesting on this big field canola, and next will be field 38 where we have barley. I'll probably do some more grass cutting too once the harvest is done. A um, little more logging just to try to get some money saved up to upgrade the cultivator and the cedar. And eventually a mower, um, and then eventually get a tether and, and baler and all that good stuff to get all that rolling too. So I just want to kind of let you guys know that I'm still alive, and uh, still cracking away at it. So I will see you guys next time, and I'll try to do um, some maybe short episodes also during the week if I can. Um, without any voiceover, of course my family will be sleeping, so I don't want to wake anyone up. So I'll try to do maybe a couple, two or three short episodes this coming week if I can um, just to kind of let you guys follow along and see what progress is being made so I do appreciate everyone uh, watching who watches um, please consider leaving a like subscribe if you would choose to do so and I will catch you guys next time take care